This is my cucumber that I really, really like. It, uh, it puts out great cucumbers, really long and beautiful cucumbers. And I've got several plants here that I ran the vine into, and I'm going to try air layering them. I've got one here, one here, one over there. I've got four of them, actually, you can see there. But uh, we're going to try air layering them, and then I'm going to attempt to change the sex on one of them so I can get some male flowers to uh, self-pollinate these with. Right here was setting the main cucumber plant that I had been wrapping around and around the cage. And I set four of the vines that come off of that into these pots that you see here now. And after a week, a uh, week and a half, something like that, I cut the vines. They moped a little bit for half a day. And now they've all popped up and they're doing great. And they're spinning up. So now what I need to do is I need to spray... Um, either one, maybe two of these vines with a gibberlins, which is a hormone. And what I'm going to do with that is, or what that spray does, is it changes the sex. Because these are gynaceous. They produce nothing but female cucumbers. You know, the female flower, which is the cucumber. And they grow without being pollinated. So there's no way to carry the line forward unless you change the sex of the plant. There's no way to self it. In other words, breed it back to itself to make an open pollinated variety. And this is what I'm going to do it with. i got a spray bottle there I'm going to spray the plant with, but I need to add this to it. I bought this several years ago, and I can't remember why I bought it. Um, it was for something. I think it was related to corn, but I'm not sure. But anyway, um, GA3 is a, well you can see what it is, it's a hormone uh, that plants produce normally and when you put it in, in extra strength or uh, purified it becomes really powerful and that's what this is. So we're going to take this solution, which I bought online several years ago, and we, well I mixed it a while back and uh, made a solution out of it and you can see that it was five spoons of this um, in alcohol and that's what it's sitting in right now because it won't mix with water but once it's mixed with alcohol you can add it to water which is what I'm gonna do and then it mixes so I'm gonna add half of a dropper full into there which equals about 500 parts per million that's a rough guesstimate all right I've got the spray here and we're gonna spray the one back here and um, just so everybody knows this is the exact same plant even though they're four separate plants now they all came off the one plant I usually call that the mother plant but in this case there's four growing they're gonna have their own root system and all I'm gonna do is just take this shake it up because it's got a little bit of alcohol uh, to dilute that GA3 and then we're just gonna soak the plant just like this Being careful not to get it on the plant next to it. Uh, and that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to do it now. In about two weeks I'm going to do it again. This is what the four plants look like today. These are awesome, awesome cucumbers. They, this is a great selection uh, from all the potentials. And the reason why I like it the most, as you can see here on this one fruit, it is really long and not too overly fat, pretty uniform, pretty straight, makes a great slicer, great slicer, and we've eaten a lot of these and they taste really good too. Now, it produces, it's gynaceous and it's parthenocarpic, that means that it produces a female fruit like this on every node now I've cut off a lot of the nodes a lot of the babies like this for a reason and I'll get into that in a little while uh, it has to do with uh, propagating it and carrying it to the next um, generation but um, yeah it's gynaceous which means totally female fruits no little male flowers 
and as Parthenon carpet means there doesn't have to be anything touch this flower it's going to grow anyway from this to this so that's perfect and you because it is Parthenon carpet there are no seeds um, there's seed, maybe small seed coatings but there's no viable seeds in there and the seed coatings are really soft uh, the outer part right here the green part there's no need to um, peel it because it's not bitter at all I think that's what they call um, well it's not bitter at all so great great taste too and um, yeah super pleased with it super pleased with it all right we're back at the cucumbers and I pulled a lot of fruit off uh, waiting for the females to turn male into one plant and to pull all those babies off because they're going to be past pollination capability here soon and what happens is if you leave them on they'll start growing and um, that's not good because this plant and most parthenocarpic plants that I've seen that cucumbers they'll once you get three or four fruit on there especially for uh, the ones that are that grow beyond it or past that uh, the little ones they don't get any bigger and they don't flower because all the energy is going into supporting those three or four that are already started growing so we, we want uh, so obviously it just makes sense you pull off the ones that are past prime past pollinatable and um, then you let the younger smaller ones come along and hopefully the timing will will be uh, appropriate all right this is what we've been waiting on all this time that is a male flower and i've got this one next to it which is kind of odd it was sprayed so i'm not sure if this is going to be a functional uh, female reception uh, for the pollen so we've got one over there potentially two over there I'm going to try to pollinate two of this but the problem is <laughs> it's pouring down rain and it is super humid and that makes it really hard to collect pollen uh, but we're going to give it a shot and we're going to try to pollinate with this all right I can't really do this with you watching uh, carefully I have to grab the back of the pedal but I'm going to take this and collect some pollen on the end of this and then all I'm going to do is just tap it onto the female portion it's just that simple there I put some yellow tape on there well it's not tape I think they call it flagging tape but it's not sticky just tied it around those two and uh, you, you never know you're not going to know until the very end until you go to collect the seed because these are going to grow anyway <laughs> All right, I'm back at the cucumbers for one final time before I publish the video. And I wanted to show you that the conversion, um, the spray, uh, worked really effectively. We've still got males. We've got a male there. Um, we've got a male there. We've got a double male there. And if you follow this up the way I wrapped it, one just fell off, but here's one. Um, there's one growing right there. There's a double there, one that's not open yet, and another one. There's one there. One's gonna come on there. And it's just, there's just so many males. I was, I'm, I'm very happy that that happened. I didn't expect so many from uh, just a couple sprays. I don't know if I showed you that one. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're, we're here. And um, I feel like with the amount of fruit that was pollinated or attempted to pollinate that I'm going to get at least one and I only need one that has actual seed in it but I've got uh, everywhere there's a flag there's a attempted pollination here and we do have fruit growing the fact that they're growing doesn't mean that there's going to be seed in it because these are part of the carpet they'll grow without being pollinated but the numbers compared to what I did, like I said, should prove fruitful. <laughs> let's hope so anyway. Uh, let's see, where's the one on this one? There it is back here. I guess that one might not grow. Anyway, this is essentially the same as selfing. 
Now when you have a parthenocarpic variety that does not uh, produce any males, there's no way to self it to continue to the next generation without changing the sex. And so that's what I did. Now all four of these plants that you see here were cuttings of side shoots that came off that one plant, which should be at the beginning of this video. That was a while back that I did that, but I'm pretty sure I, I showed that these were cuttings put in pots. But uh, yeah, so that's essentially the same. All four of these are the same exact plant, uh, but they're growing on their own because of cuttings. So yep, that's all I did. I uh, planted them, made four separate plants so I could get females off of a couple, three of the plants and then convert the sex on one of them. And it looks like I did just that. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this video. And then um, later on, I'll show, hopefully, well, I'll show one way or the other whether or not there's seeds in there or not. And, uh, and hopefully with that, I'll show um, that they're viable by um, germinating them as well. It's Brent, we'll see you later, guys. Well, that wraps up this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. In order to subscribe, all you gotta do is click the button here. We'll put a check mark next to it. If you wanna get notification the next time I make a video, click on the bell here, check here, and hit save. You guys take care.